Hey guys, this sucks. God damn it. We knew that the coronavirus, uh, we hoped it was done. It was over. It was gone. It was pew. Uh, but unfortunately, my wife has uh, been tested positive for coronavirus. And so uh, the, the responsible and smart thing to do is to not allow the guys into the studio because the studio is my house. So instead... It's going to put a lot of work on me, but I'm going to put together one hell of an episode for you guys because I know that uh, I get messages every single day from people saying that they wait for every Wednesday morning about, you know, how we help them. And so it's my responsibility to bust my ass and put together an episode for you guys. Um, you have no idea how, how much I really wanted to break out a new episode because I have a lot of funny shit that I could get the guys to, to talk about. And Derek was going to be back for this week, but he's more scared of coronavirus than most people. So, uh, so I do apologize. Uh, but this is unfortunately the smartest thing to do. Uh, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to let you down. I'm going to continue to put out, uh, content for you guys. And, uh, so these are some of the best moments some of the best moments over the last three and a half years. I'm going to probably pick a lot of new, newer episodes to go off of. But uh, without further ado, this is the coronavirus fuck you episode. So thank you guys so much. I love every single one of you guys, even if you hate my guts. But this is actually why I'm the host is because I'm responsible for all of this shit. Um, and, uh, I truly do appreciate all of you. So thank you guys so much. Enjoy the episode that I put together and, uh, keep laughing assholes. The following podcast has been rated listener M a, it contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity, listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Blowjobs all day. I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <sighs> another sellout crowd there, Jeremy. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you keep my name out of your mouth, Scotty. <laughs> no, the last I, thing I need is the bad press of being associated with you. That's true. Keep Jeremy's name <laughs> yes. out your fucking mouth. Sign it for me, Derek. <laughs> Okay. I'll get him when he's not expecting me. <laughs> yeah. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Just you. Just like Chris Rock. And also another excellent stand-up comedian. He is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, Derek Alders. You're a real son of a bitch, Scotty. I know. You fucking farted in my basement, <laughs> and for the last two days, it has smelled like straight latex down there. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, That's, come on, yeah. Scotty. That's terrible, yes. man. I didn't mean to. Yeah. You don't use the animal skins? No. Jesus. <laughs> no, Come I on, don't. man. Come on, man. <laughs> the fucking Sheep skin it. Yeah, sorry. Use the seat covers if you have to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeremy. I'm out of those. <sighs> So you disappoint yeah, me, Scotty. It's bad for the environment. Yeah, whatever. All right, guys. Well, welcome back into another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is the very first time listening to a show, warning. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports. And also, it's an adult, it's an adult podcast where we like to make... Uh, uh, fucking noises. Fucking noises and the, uh, use foul language. So mm -hmm. if that's not your thing in the wrong place, get out of here. Thanks. Fuck you. Bye. Okay. 
You know what? Yeah. That introduction, I'm going to be honest with you. Most of the yeah. time, people don't know why they're so displeased with you. Oh, yeah. Now they have a reason. Yeah, they, they, they know right off the bat, yep. this is why I hate this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you plenty more reasons. Are you making those fuck noises over there? Yeah, doing good. Yeah, yeah, doing really good. You're even on like time and everything, too. Yeah. You got a metronome I, in those headphones, buddy? My stroke game's strong. Yeah, here you go. Good job. <laughs> I like to think that that's actually more entertaining than whatever's coming out of your fucking mouth, Scotty. <laughs> Just the sound of Derek's fake fuck sounds. <laughs> In fact, you should make that into a podcast. <laughs> Just all that. That's uh-huh. it. Yeah. No, that's the unfiltered perspective. Be the sound guy for pornos. Yeah. yeah. You should have your own OnlyFans for that. <clears throat> you know? Yeah. Okay. Um, Come on, dude. We don't get like that on this show. <laughs> we don't? No, class it up. Only hands? I'm not going to put up with this bullshit this week, Scotty. <laughs> right, why not? You clean it up. This ain't the fucking circus. Uh, yeah, all right? kind of is. Knock off the bullshit. <laughs> okay, fine. Fine. All right, but we got an excellent show for you guys today. We've got, uh, you know, the normal stuff. We've got the sports to go over, real shit, horse shit. Uh, let's see. we got bad advice, overrated, underrated questions, preguntas, and a draft, and with a shitty situation to cap it off. But before we get on to those great and excellent segments, we're going to talk about what happened to us over the last week. Uh, we like to call it our week, week recap. So, uh, Derek. Again, thank yeah. you for the hand job, Scotty. Yeah, that you're was, welcome. That was very nice. Unnecessary, but a nice touch. Yeah. You're surprisingly good at that. Yes, his yeah. hands are very soft. Like yeah. you've been practicing your whole life. <laughs> a lot of practice, man, of Have course. Have you ever had the ones he gives with his mouth? <laughs> Those are the best hands. <laughs> really? <jobs>. Yeah. <laughs> Just jerk you off with his mouth, huh? Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's innovative. My it wife sure doesn't is. even do that. Uh, this you talk about multitasking, because uh-huh. then you can, like, wash dishes, make sandwich, whatever. Absolutely. Something you tells me it, you guys are making this up. No. I've never given either We've of you guys. <laughs> we got the yeah, footage. Yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> it must be with the the Apple it, turnover footage, I'm assuming. It's on your only hands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It got actually em. got kicked off of only hands because you were using your mouth and that's cheating. <laughs> Yeah. It's right in the name, motherfucker. Only hands. <laughs> yeah, it's right. like reverse soccer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, last week I didn't do anything but watch baseball and work. That's a great so that's, day. That's a it, great week. Yeah, there were, were a lot of 14 hour days. It kind of wore me out a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Pussy. Um, but uh, Memorial Weekend was an interesting one. What do you got? Uh, we went, I went camping, kind of. Sweet. Uh, stayed in my buddy's camper. Uh, me and my wife and him all hung out there. And so you went glamping. <laughs> I guess that's what you call it. Uh, they let a rooster out at the lake. Why wouldn't they? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the fucking, How else are you going to know when to wake up? The fucking thing had a spur on it this fucking long. Oh, were they fighting it? No. Oh. They just <laughs> let him out there. Sure. So there's this fucking rooster walking around. Okay. And at one point, uh, they had this one lady come out because we stayed there Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. And I think it was Saturday night. Uh, first, there's these two kids that come over that are camping across the way or whatever. And their dad gave them a rusty steak knife and told them to go catch the rooster. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can, can I ask you a quick question about that? That rooster? Yeah. Did it spur jingle, jangle, jingle? <laughs> no, uh, jangle, okay. jingle, jangled. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, That's ass backwards. Yeah. yeah. That's a backwards cat. So, yeah, <laughs> there's these two kids running around with a fucking dull, rusty steak knife trying to catch a rooster. Okay. Like, so that's real response. I think the oldest sure. one probably could have been maybe 10. Run with this fucking knife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Run <laughs> real catch fast. Catch an animal and do something with it. Uh-huh. Yeah, <clears throat> okay. sacrifice this thing so we can pray to our dark lord Satan <laughs> before we eat this for dinner raw. <laughs> what if those uh-huh. kids really knew how to fucking clean a chicken? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And got one up. What if they were just fucking experts? They weren't Puerto Rican. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fair enough. <laughs> you didn't say that. I, yeah. I never assume anything. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just kidding. Uh-huh. They were. Uh, <laughs> of course they were. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, so what we what we did do uh, after that, this lady came came out to visit and hang out with us. I guess it was a friend of one of the other guys that we were hanging out with mm-hmm. and uh, who camps out there also all year. And she <coughs> was hammered drunk. And probably one of the most annoying women I've ever met in my life. I hope she listens to this. I hope so, too. <laughs> because for the, those of you that don't live here, it was... she was, half Japanese? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Puerto Rican. Oh, of course. Uh, no. Uh, honky all the way. Oh, oh nice. But uh, she uh, was awful. Hmm. She basically just kept screaming about the wind. And for those of you that don't live here, it was a very, very windy weekend. It was. And... Uh, 
all I heard, and I think I'd do her voice to a T, mm -hmm. any time <laughs> the wind would blow. Mm -hmm. Anytime. You'd hear, this fucking wind! <laughs> Make it stop! I hate it here! <laughs> and you didn't enjoy that. <laughs> this fucking wind! <laughs> oh my god. And so then she she uh, sounds a lot like the host of this show, <laughs> right? Yeah, thanks, man. Then she randomly starts talking to me about her ex husband, which I wonder why he's the ex. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and she, uh, as she was talking to me, she's like just ta trying to have a conversation, but she's like poking me in the chest as she's talking about him, and I'm like, was she drunk? I'm oh yeah, she. Okay. Uh, okay. At one point, the guy that she was ha came out to visit, uh, she didn't know where he went, and he was two chairs over. Oh, oh. Yeah, and then I guess she fell face first in the grass and laid there for about 45 <laughs> minutes at one point. <laughs> oh, God. And then they're like, and she came. The you other girl get away from that wind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other girl that she was with was in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I did find out, I guess she was paralyzed in a car accident. And uh, was they, she single? They uh, they were both like 55. Like, the, this guy, not what I asked. I said, obnoxious I, woman. No, do you know any paralyzed woman that's single? <laughs> Jesus, I don't. <laughs> okay. They're all taken. They yeah. have to be. Uh, uh, so, but, be okay, there. was this the obnoxious woman was paralyzed no, or her friend? No, no. They God picked the wrong one. <laughs> um, he does so, that. He, he tries us all. Yeah. So... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> At one, we wake up the next morning, and she's, like, walking around trying to get us all to do this shot of vodka, mm -hmm. which none of us want. And so, like, I think that's the earliest I've ever went to bed camping. I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm not dealing with this shit. <laughs> so we all bail at, like, 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's early. Yeah. So, Fuck. Except for uh, her, her friend, and then our buddy Jeff that she's hanging out with. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> the next morning, they're like, oh, shit. I think she's still here. I'm like, I wonder if Jeff fucked her. <laughs> and uh which he didn't okay. but uh there's her <laughs> bottle of vodka and then like her camping chair is still there so i was like oh shit she stayed the night and then they were like no she left her chair here i was like wouldn't it be weird if the other friend left her chair here <laughs> <laughs> how funny would that be mm -hmm. that'd be hilarious uh, to me that sounds like free chair <laughs> yeah, right yeah. yeah that's what i said when they wanted me to announce a, a lost child at the ballpark they like, well fuck free child um <laughs> uh, did you say that? Please tell me you did. <laughs> I really wanted to. Um, God, so we're dark. And then this was the worst. This is this this happened too. Uh, the next night while we're out there drinking around the fire, I didn't know this was a thing. Some RV had a fucking karaoke system on the outside of it. Oh fuck yeah! With a microphone. Mm -hmm. We know how you love karaoke. At midnight, <laughs> it's like oh, this is wonderful. Oh, it was with the that worst. Wind? With that oh. fucking wind. <laughs> Yeah, I guarantee if Jeff fucked her, you'd have heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was talking about that. I was like, she's just gonna be laying there going, This fucking dick <laughs> <laughs> It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so But that is not the end all of the story. By the way, that fucking karaoke thing went on until like one thirty in the fucking morning. Anybody play with, with a full microphone? It's like you know, I sure love how Journey sounds, but how's Greg do it? <laughs> hear his rendition. <laughs> I'd like to hear his take on yeah. it. his remix. Yeah. Oh fucking that what was this one of the Stain songs? Oh, it's oh. been it's been a while. Yes, that's it. And it was, but it wasn't that. It Not was long enough. It was. It's been a while. <laughs> Been a while. Oh, that's fucking and, uh, great. Yeah, it was fucking fantastic. <laughs> and uh, there's one other thing that we did while we were out there. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm waiting to hear the most important part. <laughs> so this is, this is, uh, so I've done mushrooms three times in my life. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> this was the third Th time. This wasn't, <laughs> this wasn't where I saw this going. No. <laughs> so we were going to do them Saturday. Which is probably a good thing we didn't, because I would have seen tripping balls, two children running with a rusty steak knife after a rooster, and I probably would have seen that fucking win! So it's a good thing I didn't do it that night. Now, the first time I ever did mushrooms, nothing mm -hmm. happened. I did... Uh, were two, they out of a can? Uh, they were portobellas. <laughs> okay. yeah. I did, Delicious. Uh, yeah, they were fucking tasty. No, I did uh, two grams. We all did... And then I did one more gram, and then nothing, and I, nothing happened. Hoity toity metric motherfucker. The second time, I did I think five, and I could see like my buddy has wallpaper in his camper that's got like 
dashes all over well, he it. He didn't until you took the mushroom. <laughs> and, and, and it kind of moved a little bit, and okay. I kind of got giggly, and I'm like, okay, well. So this time was a completely different batch. I haven't done them since Labor Day of last year. This time was a completely different batch. He's like, these could be good. They could be bad. I don't, they could suck. I don't know. But I go, okay, well, how many are you doing? He's like, I'll probably do three grams, three and a half. I'll probably do three and a half. And uh, so I'm like, all right. I do eight. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So I'm putting these things on chips. They taste like shit. <laughs> but I'm putting these things on chips. I eat this like, whole. Like potato chips? Potato or that, chips. Not no, the, poker. I put them on poker chips. Uh, I didn't know if you meant <laughs> that like, 70s motorcycle cop show. I'm like, I raise you uh, 200 and one gram. <laughs> oh, God. No, I'm putting them on these uh, off-brand potato chips. And I'm fucking mowing them down. And then all of a sudden... I finally get all eight grams down, and then I took my bottled water that was in that little cup and swirled it, dumped some of that in there that was in the mushroom cup, swirled it around, drank it. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. I'm like, well, why not? Let's, why not? When in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> so, when at the lake. Uh, and this was noon. We took these at 12, 15 p.m. <laughs> oh, shit. Because uh, I've never done them during the day, and my buddy's like, we should day trip. I'm like, okay, fuck it. So I finish them. We go out. We sit out on the gravel where his camper is. And about 30 minutes go by, 45 minutes, and I can finally start to see the gravel kind of swirl a little bit. Uh-huh. And I'm like, that's pretty cool. And it's going into one of our buddies. Like, it's it's like everybody's feet are starting to kind of go into it a little bit. And I'm like, this is pretty cool. And then a car pulls up. And I go, somebody's here. And I look over, and he's like, oh, it's my parents. And <laughs> oh, my parents are coming out. And I'm like, oh, well, his parents are fucking hippies. So okay. nice. they're cool. So, but the thing is is it was his parents, and then he didn't know, but his two bro- older brother or his brothers are coming, which they're adults also, sure. right? But it's his parents and his two brothers. And his mom just never stops talking. She <laughs> is the sweetest lady. She makes fucking kick-ass jelly, but she fucking never stops talking. So she, between her talking to my to my well, my wife was there with us, before her talking to my wife, me... And him, and then his brother is starting to have a conversation with me about his ex-wife and how his daughter wants a car and his ex-wife's a bitch and what's it like getting to call baseball games. And and then I'm listening to his mom still can constantly talk, and then the music's going, and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to fucking puke. (laughs) So I go in the camper, and I'm like, fuck, this is not good. Like, I feel like I'm going to get sick. I've got my finger down my throat trying to throw up. I go in that bathroom, and I was like, look at the wallpaper. I was like, nope. <laughs> I turn back around. I go onto the comforter. I go to lay down, which was a bad idea. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting down. I'm, lay- I'm laying down. I'm sitting up. I'm laying down. I'm sitting up. And then at one point, and it's just me really in there, finally he comes in, and he's like, <clears throat> uh, I'm like, dude, this is not good. Like, I feel like I'm going to get sick. I don't know. I'm fucking drenched in sweat. I'm gripping my, I've got my belt on. I've got my hands around my belt. I'm squeezing it as tight as I can. I'm like, I, I fucking, how long is this fucking song? <laughs> like, it keeps playing. And then uh, he's like, well, I don't, dude, you just got to ride it out. It is what it is. And one other buddy walks in. He goes, I, I had to see this. I know you a big boy, but eight? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like fuck off, man. Yeah, you will like a little bit. I'm like Jesus Christ. I did fucking four times as much as anybody else did almost. <laughs> so uh, now I'm laying down, and his dad walks in. His mom look, walks in two times, two or three times. She's like, "You okay?" I said, "No." <laughs> and she goes, "Well, you look you look like you got too much sun." I said, "Yeah, I think so." She's like, "You need to lay down." I'm like, "Okay." So I lay down, and then I s- sit back up. And I'm down, and I'm up, and then his mom walks in, and she's like, are you okay? And I said, no. She goes, I think you got too much sun. I think you need to lay down. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and so I lay down, I'm and I'm not up. laying down. <laughs> and I lay down, and I sit back up again, and then his mom walks in, and she's like, are you okay? I'm like, what in the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> and so then his dad walks in. He's like, well, we're going to take off. And he grabs his toolbox, and he leaves. And about five minutes later, his dad walks in and goes, well, we're going to take off, which was apparently grabbing his cooler this time. Mm. But I thought, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> and then he leaves, and then he comes Did back in. Did he come in. with a toolbox? <laughs> yes. Okay. And then he goes, well, we're going to take off. And I'm like, goddamn it, I'm living in a goddamn loop. I'm never going to get out of this shit. 
I don't know what the fuck is real. And then I look over at my dog on the bed who has four heads and one eye in the center of her fucking head. And I go, holy shit, she doesn't have any legs. <laughs> Because they're gone. That's, that's what you noticed. <laughs> Not the four heads. Oh, the four heads were moving no around. Rags. And I thought she was shitting on the bed, which she wasn't, but I was screaming that she was. And then at one point, I thought I ran into the lake, uh-huh. <laughs> all the way through the lake. I'm like, I don't know what, I got to work. I don't, I work. My boss's name, his name, <laughs> I like to start saying uh-huh. my boss's name. And then I'm like, hey, where's uh, our buddy that kept, that asked about the eight? I kept asking where the fuck he was at. And then... There's one kid when we were outside that is walking over by the swing set, and he's walking towards us, and I'll be damned if that wasn't Jesus Christ (laughs) himself. (laughs) And the swings were actually uh, camels (laughs) in the back. And this all lasted for like four and a half hours. Oh, that couldn't have got old (laughs) at all. Holy shit. Of hearing you fucking freak out. I thought I shit my pants. I would have have rather heard somebody bitch about the wind. I know, right? Was Jesus walking on the lake? (laughs) He was walking on that fucking wind. (laughs) So, so, and then... Uh, the, the job I used to work at, uh, someone's like, hey, uh, so-and-so, I think, just messaged me. She wants to know if you'll work for her. And I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> that is not a good idea. That is a bad idea. <laughs> now, I will say this. Mm-hmm. That last, when I finally started to unfreak out a mm-hmm. little bit, that was probably the best I've ever felt in my whole fucking life. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the moral of the story is do drugs. <laughs> sure. um, right. right. But, but, like, I was, I didn't think about anything i was trying to think about something Mm -hmm. and i had nothing in my head to think about i wish i could get oh yeah dude that's what i'm saying i wish i could get to. and i was like do i work tomorrow and my wife's like no honey you don't work tomorrow and i was like when did we get here i didn't know what day it was i was like when did we get here she's like we got here friday i said oh what's today (laughs) sunday i work tomorrow no honey you don't work tomorrow huh I couldn't fathom it. <laughs> I was trying to figure out why. And then as we're driving. You couldn't remember Memorial Day. Wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so as, as well, then we go, my buddy has a golf cart. We're driving around the lake on the golf cart. And I started to talk to him about something. And I completely lost my train of thought. And I was like, you know what? I don't even know what I was saying. He's like, I said, do I drink alcohol? He goes, not very well. <laughs> awesome. So are you going to leave us hanging? What do you mean? Do kids ever get that fucking rooster? <laughs> They did not. That's all I've been wondering <laughs> yeah, about this whole time. Shit. That was the so, other shit I was talking so, about, too, what? on the mushroom. I was like, there's a rooster right there. <laughs> and I'm, like, looking out the fucking window. Would have been like that scene in Young Guns. Yeah. When they all did peyote. Uh-huh. You guys! <laughs> oh, my wife. You see wife. the size of that goddamn chicken? <laughs> my wife doesn't know what to do. She's trying to comfort me a little bit. And she's like, honey, none of this is real. It's all bullshit. None of it's real. And I go, her. we live in a simulation? Oh, my God. Am I alive right now? <laughs> like, like, it was fucking nuts. Oh, great. Great. Mm-hmm. That's a fun time. I'm going to be selfless this year. And including on this podcast episode, I am actually going to take the belt off the desk. And and throw it in this the trash. Episode. Please and thank can, you. If I if I can Oh Jesus. There Christ. you go. <laughs> and put up a new one. You got a show belt? Oh no. This one is even better. That's great. <laughs> My friends from Trophy Smack actually contact me. I paid nothing for this. Oh, okay, there you go. They actually made me a custom belt that says the best podcast host of all damn time. How about that? That's great. That's Round of applause, everybody. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. No. <laughs> no. I can't <laughs> even which condescendingly. Which does it? <laughs> yeah, that's that one. There we go. <laughs> I can't even condescendingly approve of anything that's happening. If, oh, yeah. If I can break kayfabe for a second, I personally love the belts. Yeah, I great. love getting a belt for yourself. I always told myself that's if awesome. I won the comedy contest here in Wichita, I'm buying myself a fucking belt. I don't yeah. care. It's going to happen. Yeah, and it's so, a great quality belt. I love it. Jeremy? I would just wear the bracelet on <laughs> my waist. I would have to lose a lot of weight or buy a corset. Yeah. You, for celebrating your second year in a row, you should yeah. take like a sexy photo shoot for a calendar totally. with the belt, just and, covering your junk. And, and give it to Derek. Exactly. That's right. I actually, Post it right behind him. Oh, God, that'd be great. No, I think actually you should 
have it just around your waist, dick hanging out <laughs> under it. <laughs> just like from, from the Simpsons movie when Bart's skating around and they got the yeah. the bushes and stuff, and there's that one little peak at his tiny little pecker. That can that, be your little pecker that's right up there. That's it. Uh, but well, no, I, I really do. I want to say a huge thank you to Trophy Smack. It was a really good experience. They actually, uh, I contacted them and said I did not think that I was going to win this year, and I was not in good shape. And they wanted me to be able to have a, a really cool belt that I could put on the desk that it, you know, I could show it off and they fucking killed it in spades. So, so thank you to Trophy you're Smack. telling me it was a pleasurable experience to get free shit. <laughs> 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 Who does the not? Only, the that, only free thing that he didn't like getting was that AIDS. Yeah, that's exactly no. <laughs> right. <laughs> so thank you very much to Trophy Smack. I appreciate it. Unfortunately, and oddly enough, I paid for that. <laughs> so. We'll have to get Derek's reaction next week. But uh, that was uh, that was pretty much uh, my week. 2022 is going to be lit, guys. Between the cheese and the belt, Derek ain't coming back. <laughs> <laughs> what, what third thing could we put on the desk to right. ensure that he never steps foot in this basement again? So, enough of that. Uh, I think we met Poncherello from Chips. <laughs> um, I forgot about that. Oh, shit. That was... And check it in the hotel. You got to talk about checking in the yeah, hotel. Yeah, so I'll, I'll talk about that. Yeah, we were standing in line to get into the concert because we got there a little bit early. They weren't letting people in until 7. And this this couple, this guy, I'm going to say mid to late 60s, but in <laughs> incredibly good shape, very tan. You could tell he'd taken very good care of himself. Uh, his wife, who I'm going to say 20 years young, younger than him, who thought she was 22, uh, could not pull off the outfit she was wearing, may have had fake boobs. <laughs> uh, they were the size of hot air balloons. <laughs> Perfectly round. Perfectly round. They were a lot like uh, Vicky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly like A Vicky. lot like her boobs. Um, and uh, looked like she had just finished sucking off a beehive. <laughs> she had the biggest lips I've ever seen on a human being. And Careful, that got John Gruden fired. It sure did. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't like tires. They <laughs> also like hot air balloons. Yeah. Um, but anyways, this guy like taps me on the shoulder and goes, is it legal in Oklahoma if you vape cannabis? <laughs> you, you, you mean smoke weed? Is that, is that what you mean? And I go, uh, we're not from here. And even if we were, it, it's not my thing. So I don't know. Uh, you a cop? and he goes well we're 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 from dallas and uh so you know we we didn't know if it was legal here or not i didn't want to break the law i said uh yeah still i i don't know i know she dodged the question are you a cop I can vouch this is the exact kind of conversation that we, went. We had a nice little conversation. They were very nice people. Very, very nice. Uh, you could tell that the concert wasn't really their thing because, I mean, the second that the lights went up, they were fucking out the door. <laughs> well, you asked him, you told yeah. him you looked like punch. <clears throat> I said, you've, you're giving off kind of a chips vibe. <laughs> and he goes, oh, of all the things you could have compared me to. And I, I said, Eric Estrada was a very handsome man. He goes, I'm not Mexican. <laughs> Oh. I never said that you were. I said he was handsome. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then that seemed to perk him right up. That, yeah, then, um, then they were great. Yeah. Uh, let's see. When we check into the hotel, by the way, made probably the best time in history getting down there. What, two hours, 15 minutes? Yeah, something like something that. Something like that for what's normally a three-hour trip. Every time that I've gone to Oklahoma City... It's always been to where we time it to where as soon as we get to the city, right at 5 o'clock. It's always oh, that, rush hour. That's dumb. That's yeah. why you don't do that. What, do you think you're fucking better than me now, Scotty? Yep. Is that what you think? Yep. Because you're not. Yep. Otherwise, we would have invited you this weekend. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm glad you didn't. I, I am not a Ribolet fan. I do not like him. We're yeah. not a Scotty fan. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, we do not we, like we, you. Uh, we're fine. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, in fact, he made a point to to yell out, fuck Scotty. <laughs> that was the best and, part and, of the show. And, and what's weird, not fuck Scotty German, is what he kept saying. 
Happy birthday. He said that at the end, didn't he, though? Nope. Okay. Uh, you weren't there. You wouldn't even fucking know. I wouldn't Anyways, care. um, yeah, we get to the hotel, and we check in, and the lady's, like, telling us about all the facilities. You know, elevators are just over here. There's an ice machine on every floor. We have a state-of-the-art health uh, or fitness center right in here. Are you looking at us? <laughs> To which I just with a perfectly straight face. Uh, that fitness center is that uh, you got a Nordic track in there? <laughs> I thought he was serious. Like I one hundred percent. I was like, "Damn, Jeremy, you gonna go fucking work out?" And she had to like pause and get confirmation from her her manager that. Uh, uh, no, it does Shit. not. And I thought, okay, you said state of the art. I thought you might have a thirty-year-old piece of equipment <laughs> in there. That's but, fucking uh, great. And so then, uh, you oh. know, we we uh, we had some barbecue for dinner, and then uh, don't tell Brian. Um, <laughs> I I had a uh, barbecue sandwich. Don't tell the McRib. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, we went out to a couple different bars after the show. Uh, we had a really cool bartender at our hotel. Um, she couldn't figure out her fucking register drawer for that. <laughs> I fixed it. Yeah, Derek, Derek did. He actually, <laughs> actually they, they let him handle the money. <laughs> it was wow. weird. Um, but we went to a couple of cool bars. Uh, and then to top the night off, I saw a man fall harder oh, yeah. <laughs> than I think I've ever seen anybody fall. Yeah, uh, I was drinking the world's most expensive beer in the hotel. <laughs> at $35 a I six paid pack. $35 for a road six-pack at the fucking bar because <laughs> we weren't quite done drinking. <laughs> oh, my God. And me and Derek are just sitting there talking, and he's telling me a story, and I don't even remember what the fuck we were talking about, but he was saying, and so the guy did this, and he's sitting in one of those, and it's like a basic office chair like, like that one that mm -hmm. people can't see. Yeah. And. And uh, he just <laughs> leans back in it, and the fucking wheels come. <laughs> I mean, it's like they ran away from the fucking he chair. He got powerbombed by an office chair. He falls straight back and smacks his head on the fucking wall. Oh, God. And for a second, see, here is my reaction. I have my friend Brian is really good at, like, faking hitting his head on things. Uh -huh. And one night he got me, like, three times in one night <laughs> hitting his head on shit. I'm, Are you okay? Yeah, dude, I'm fine. And so for like two seconds, I'm like, did did he just do that on purpose? Because <laughs> it's like he just timed it perfect. And then I got to thinking, no, he's not that athletic. <laughs> that To do that and not get hurt. And so I go running over there like, do you need an ass? I, I expect him to just be Derek. I go, dude, are you okay? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> And I was afraid he was concussed. I actually stayed up a little later just to make sure he kept breathing once he went to sleep. <laughs> oh, my God. That I mean, it was, hurt. it was one of the nastiest spills I've ever seen anyone take. Wow. And, and then... It, uh, it wasn't even like a, I was hammered drunk spill. It just... I just yeah, went. Yeah. And, wow. And Goodness. then... Uh, we uh, we stopped at... What is it? Tucker's... Tucker's Onion, Onion Burgers. Onion Burgers on the way home, which... I, oddly enough, got it without the onions. And um, that's really fucking good. <laughs> Holy I mean, shit, is it it's good. It's really fucking good. It's maybe one of the... I'm going to put it in top three burgers I've ever had in my life. Wow. Good. And wow. Um, I had him skip Whataburger to try it. Yeah. That, yeah, that, that oh. was a big risk because yeah. you, you may not have come home with me. <laughs> and we were in your car. Uh, <laughs> And then we made really good time coming home, too. Like, we made it in less than two hours. Wow. Not, not uh, right at two hours, but we stopped for gas. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, yeah, we did really well. And that's to my house. My house is uh, 50 miles south of here. So, <laughs> it's, it's much closer to the Oklahoma border. Right. So, uh, that was my weekend. Oh, um, by the way, we did not have an Otis elevator. No. But the hack worked. No shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was like a fucking express right to the second floor. Every time. <laughs> Every, Every time. time. <laughs> it never stopped once. And, and let me tell you, had we been on a higher floor, I would not have taken I did not feel comfortable. Uh, I, well. I'm glad I didn't wear my shirt because I would have felt like a fraud. <laughs> I, I feel like a fraud anyway. I feel like I've cheated on my wife. <laughs> That's, That's fucking, where I'm at with this. That's fucking great. Hang on a second. I got to get to the highlight of my week. Okay. All right. Chug beer. Lay it that, down. That's not the highlight of my week. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. All right. 
Hey, right. how you doing, Derek? You doing okay? Yeah, yeah you guys talk yeah, amongst yourselves doing while I great. work here. Did you get a new fucking <laughs> dick blower? No. no Looks like it. That's yeah, more. All right. All right, what do you got, Jeremy? So <clears> last <throat> week I'm at work. I had a, uh, a meeting with an engineer in his office about some uh, potential issues. And uh, I'm coming back to my shop from his office, and I'm walking down the aisle. Great big fucking you know aisleways that they have for forklifts and shit that can get down there is about the same width of a street but i notice i'm about 25 30 feet away and i see something on the floor in the aisleway and here as i keep walking to it here's the conversation that i have in my mind that looks like no that couldn't be is that a well, it might be. No way. Yep, that's a turd. <laughs> Is Amber Heard buying a jet? Did they give her a tour of the place? Or? N- no, I can, I can tell you 100% that's not what happened. Okay. Um, do you know how hard it is to keep a straight face and go to your boss and tell him, um, there's a turd in the walkway? <laughs> It is all but impossible. (laughs) Especially when you did it. (laughs) (laughs) Someone shit in the walkway. Jeremy, we have you on video. (laughs) Oh, I'm getting to that. (laughs) Trust me. This this goes places. Um, So, anyways, uh, I didn't realize what I was potentially doing. Had I... Had I known what this was going to start, <laughs> I would have not said anything. <laughs> oh, please tell me it's like shit gate. <laughs> oh, all fucking hell broke loose. Uh, oh, for those who don't know, I am an aircraft mechanic. I, I build commercial aircraft for a living. I won't say what company for. But um, so basically my entire building is uh, an, an FAA secured building. So we have all kinds of government regulations and with this uh turd in the the aisle way uh we are out of compliance now on our hazardous waste disposal <laughs> and because i'm the one who's reported it i have to be involved every step of the way my boss oh, has this big i'm not kidding you six inch thick binder <laughs> of emergency situation protocols <laughs> and there is a section in there for feces in common areas <laughs> which means that this has happened before <laughs> oh uh, fuck <laughs> we had to tape off a 25 foot radius perimeter <laughs> around this to be in compliance I just with like, biohazard tape. I just like to picture, like, in that guy's office, there's a wall of photos with red yarn going from, like, trying to connect the dots. It might as well have been. <laughs> Once we made the perimeter, we had to have people stationed on all four sides in bright orange vests to redirect any foot or vehicle traffic that may come through. Move along, nothing to see here. <laughs> yeah, sorry, park's closed. <laughs> Moose out front should have told you. Um, my boss then has to place a work order that, because I'm the one who reported it, I get a copy of said work order. But I can't take it out of the place. It's just for my personal <clears throat> records. Um, because we are under contract with a janitorial company, anything in the common areas, we're not allowed to actually do any of the cleaning because that takes work away from them. So we have to wait on them to come (laughs) clean this up. Uh, So I get a copy of the work order. And here's uh, hazardous material cleanup. Uh... (laughs) This is the way he worded it (laughs) under the comments. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) A singular poop. poop. 
<laughs> this is so this this woman from the uh custodial company comes like she's done this a thousand fucking times before picks up the poop <laughs> barehanded <laughs> barehanded no she's got big ass fucking gloves on but no like hazmat suit or anything like that because you would think that it was fucking plutonium oh god that we've found uh it was just a poop it wasn't even <laughs> smelling at this point so anyway she comes in and picks it up and puts it in a trash bag and then sprays down all kinds of fucking disinfectant and wipes up the whole fucking area not phased a bit she didn't even she wasn't even like oh god it was like, well, same shit, different day. <laughs> Literally. Literally, same shit. No, different shit. Maybe same day. I don't know. But so anyhow, um, then there's a full-blown investigation into this because somebody violated <laughs> our hazardous waste disposal they're considering it sabotage at oh. this point because literally we can be audited by any number of 20 different government entities including fucking epa could have gotten involved in this had we been <laughs> oh i wish that would have happened oh my God. I, no this would have been real bad had <laughs> had we not followed all the proper steps so anyways this investigation they want to identify who did it and there is security cameras all over the place out there but we only get a view of the back of the guy. So they show me the video. Here's what happened. <laughs> Dude is walking down the aisle. He's wearing a t-shirt, a ball cap, and like cargo shorts. And you see him walk down the aisle. He's got his hand in his pocket. And then you just see him kind of like shake his leg and his shorts. And it just... <laughs> <laughs> so he had apparently shit in his pants. <laughs> Oh, my God. Dropped it out of his fucking leg and walked off like nothing ever fucking happened. Oh, Jesus. And it was, I, and, and they're like, can you, can you identify who this is? Which is, it's weird because while I do work in a building with several hundred other people, I go there every day. So by now I can usually spot just about anybody who's supposed to be there. But it's not uncommon for people from other buildings to come through the sure. area. And, and I'm like, no, I have no idea. But to be honest with you, even if I could, I don't think I would. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of admire the guy a little bit. But yeah, so uh, oh. that happened to me last week. Jesus fucking Christ. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? How do you, sh even if you're wearing cargo shorts, you can't be wearing underwear underneath there. I would it. think not. No, you're. you're I, believe me, if they ever identify this guy, I got questions. <laughs> right? That's the funny. logistics of this is Ugh. fucking beyond me, but it is so very clear. It's black and white, but it's high definition black and white. You see it come out the <laughs> bottom of his fucking shorts. There's not a doubt in the world that that is human poop. A, a poop. <laughs> That's what I love. Oh, jeez. Well, a poop. You know we had a... We're going to give that guy a hell of yeah. a round of applause for this. Holy that guy made shit. my week. Yeah. You know what we had. My a, wife might still be laughing <laughs> after I told her about it. You know we had double headers, you know, all week. Oh, yeah. Because it rained out uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yes. Uh, the, create, the fun thing, though, was on Thursday, I took a tour of an aircraft facility. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did. Well, yeah, you got to learn to hold it for a long time, <laughs> but there's just so much a guy can take. <laughs> Oh, you shit. see enough propellers, you start getting so, excited. Something yeah. about a fuselage just makes me runny. I, I think he was just trying to get out of something, is I think what the whole point was. Yeah, he wanted to leave work. <laughs> he wanted to leave work. Dude, I would fucking <laughs> jump in my car as fast as I could, get the fuck out of there, text my boss something. I wouldn't tell him that that's what happened. But uh, it'd be funny if he did I, the old chewing gum trick. You know, like whenever you were a kid, and you'd spit your oh. gum out and try and kick it. Yeah, <laughs> and he just like tried to back. Heck, he said, "Heck, he said it." The corn really held it yeah. together. <laughs> oh my god! Oh fuck! <laughs> ah man! <laughs> Somebody literally <laughs> bought him some peanuts and cracker jacks. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh. 
Uh, for being the guy that's actually admitted to shitting himself on this uh, on this podcast. Here's the thing. The guy would be in absolutely no danger whatsoever had he just gone and, and told, told somebody the, a manager or just somebody. But instead, he chose to <laughs> leave it, which then is sabotaging us for a potential uh, government audit. All oh, right. Well, I think he should and just went with the old defense finders, keepers, losers, leaders. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Yeah. And and the company that I that I work for, well, that's that's kind of why I have to be involved in the process along with my union steward so they don't try to hang it on me. Oh, man. But uh, And it's very clear this man was very slender. It wasn't me. <laughs> I'm shaggy on this. Nice. Wasn't me. <laughs> what, wasn't me. <laughs> Oh Jesus! This is best. This is the best. I thing. thought you meant the other kind, trying to investigate the old man who left the poop, yeah. <laughs> like so like scoop who pooped in the aircraft facility. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Phantom, <laughs> and I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. This is the guy who lost his aircraft facility in a bank repossession, <laughs> trying to get it back. Uh, Ruby, Ruby. <laughs> Why go. did those uh, old men always want to protect those abandoned amusement parks? No idea. What the fuck were they going to do with it? Uh, oh my! Oh, like it's old lady Amber from the Aquaman movie. <laughs> 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 fuck yes, that's best. Shaggy, Thel- Thelma, we got to really <laughs> stick our noses in this one. <laughs> Someone's had a lot of Scooby snacks. That's right. Somebody really <laughs> stepped in it this time. <laughs> And, and and that's the thing. I it is it weird that my radar could detect that from 25, 30 feet away? That was the first thought. That looks like a turd. A poop, Jeremy. A poop. It's a, poop. It's a singular that, poop. That looks like a poop. And it, it landed and stood like upright. Uh, <laughs> So like the stuck top was the fucking, mushed, he stuck mushed the landing. In. Yeah, 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 like a javelin. <laughs> he should have just went quietly back, got a little Santa hat, walked back over, put it on, uh-huh. Mister Hanky. Oh, <laughs> like, uh, somebody, Jeremy somebody walks by and just it. goes, "Howdy ho!" Somebody who saw it after me apparently put a paper bag over it. <laughs> <laughs> Did they right. try to set it on fire? <clears throat> not, not wrong direction. Oh, God. They, they just said it like, hey, don't walk here. <laughs> but they didn't tell anybody about it. I got the Good Samaritan Award for <laughs> no, that. Now for I, I have to be involved in whatever. <laughs> it would not surprise me because I work for a very large and wealthy company if they didn't do <clears throat> DNA on it because they're pissed. Yeah. And shitted. I like, I like to think the guy that put the paper bag on it wrote, caution, a poop. <laughs> <laughs> and and here's the funny thing about it is like... <laughs> this every, whole fucking by, thing is funny, Jeremy. By the by the time that, you know, it got cleaned up, everybody in the shop knew about it. People were standing around coming to take a gander at it and shit. But it's like, even to this day, it's been half a week later, and it's been all cleaned up and disinfected. And as people are like walking out at quitting time, they'll walk around <laughs> that spot. Nobody will step there. There's a like chalk that's outline a bad of a turd. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's maybe it's something with this. Uh, there's a vortex here <laughs> that just makes people shit. <laughs> something that just sucks it right out, uh, right man. out your jeans. There's gonna be old old tales like, oh well, you remember that one time James stepped right where it <laughs> was, and then he got his hand cut yeah. off. Right, that's the cursed poop spot. Right, dude but, didn't even look back. Well, that it's it, like this is a once a week th- occurrence for him. Yeah, just <laughs> nailed it. Walk, <laughs> yeah, but there's audio. I hope that's in it. Uh, nailed not. it and walks off. Uh, that's our week week recap. Uh, we got a lot of sports to get o- get through today, but before we do that, I want to say thank you to our sponsor. Just me though. I, I just want to say thank you to Manscape.com mm. uh, for everything that you do and provide for me. I don't know about these other guys, but uh, I am. No, well, oh, here I'll check it out. Look, yeah, no, <laughs> I am well maintained, well groomed, and no nose hairs. Uh, again, this week, uh, I'm thinking about doing my head. I'm thinking about doing it again. Oh, please shave your head. Oh yeah, buddy. And I did your, it once. And, and your face, <clears throat> and my eyebrows, and all of it. And the funny thing is, if I did, I wouldn't cut myself at all. It'd be perfectly fine. Here's prove the it. thing. I think I, we need to prove this. <laughs> I realize that we haven't talked this through or cleared this, but for. Every listener who donates $100 to us, uh, you get to take one swipe at Scotty's head with the Manscaped trimmer. 
<laughs> or a weed pay whacker. Your own travel expenses, yeah. but we'll give you his address, no problem. <laughs> or a weed whacker. Uh, we yes. will provide the weed whacker. Too. Yes, and we're not talking the the trimmer. We're talking. I'll get my actual string trimmer, <laughs> yeah. my weed eater. Yeah, because you wouldn't harm me with uh, with the weed whacker or the lawnmower 4.0. They would with my fucking gas-powered string trimmer, Scotty. <laughs> yeah. And that's what I really want. Yeah. I'd and like my Craftsman some... lawnmower. Mm-hmm. You know how some people pierce their ears? I'd like to see your head pierced. <laughs> that's, that's where I'm at with that. Anyway, go on with the Manscaped. I'd like it on a this. nice pike. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, guys. Sure. Uh, but anyways, love to see you impaled. Manscaped.com. They make excellent products to keep uh, men groomed and maybe maybe women. You know, it they, will work on women. It'll I've, cut their nose hairs. I've been told. I've been told that it mm-hmm. has. Um, you know, every once in a while, you get one of those furry bitches that just really need to have some sure. manscape products. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Prickly porcupine down there. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. You don't want the porcupine perspective. <laughs> they need some right. fucking she shears. <laughs> that's right. Some she shears. They need to. They need to work that's right. on that. You know, they I, change the name to Human Scout. I'll be honest with you Called guys. The hedge clipper. <laughs> <laughs> I had to use the shears this weekend. That's the uh, fingernails because. Uh, turns out that's why I was using so much lotion. I was getting a lot of scratching going on. Turns out I just needed to cut my nails. Oh. Had nothing to do with friction going on. I'll be goddamn. I thought I just had rough hands, you know, because I'm a real man. Looks yeah. like your penis got in a knife fight. It, it sure does. <laughs> yeah. And lost. <laughs> Which is strange because it typically does not lose knife fights. <laughs> yeah, it's Puerto Rican. That's it, right. Very. <laughs> Good God. It eats tamales. <laughs> Year round. Year round, yes. With the husk on. Right. Uh, Hit flamenco dances. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, but they also do have some other excellent products. They do now have the body wash that they just came out yeah. with. They have the crop cleanser as well. Um, they just make all kinds of really excellent products that you need to check out at Manscaped. Sure do. At Manscaped.com. Give them, a, give them a look-see. They're a good company. They've been good to us. They have been good to us. That's uh, that's for certain. Um, but uh, we want to thank them. Uh, if you guys do have anything you want to look into, go to Manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES for anything that you purchase. You get 20% off and free shipping, and that helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we're reading every single commercial word for word. That, mm-hmm. That's very important. It they, sure is. They're, they're sticklers. They are sticklers. For that, it's all the other podcasts. They they make them read it word for word because they can't come up with shit. <laughs> it's really fucked up that they have written everything that we just said, mm-hmm. including about the lotion. They wrote that out here yeah. on the script. That was really fucked up of them. Amazing. I don't know who's yeah, writing their yeah, scripts, well, but he's a good guy. We should get him to host the podcast. Yeah, Logan <laughs> Manscaped, yeah, because no. Gillette can suck our You're dicks. Damn right, <laughs> oh, that's right. Um, but uh, there was a a Big Twelve coach that departed ways from the other team in Kansas. <laughs> Bruce Weber has resigned for head coach of the K State basketball team. Go pound sand, you fucking dickhead! <laughs> uh, refer back to that. Uh, go go fuck yourself. We we haven't done that in a very very long time, but it's up. You can go and watch it. And uh, Jeremy lets him have it. That guy can seriously kiss my filthy shithole. <laughs> I am so glad he's gone. You gotta love the way he went out, though. What he said, which part? The part about how well maybe I just didn't win because I did it the right way. And what he say? He's not cutting his hair until yeah, the NCAA was... punishes these cheating teams. He's basically just jabbing KU. That's you know? uh, actually he was more jabbing Oklahoma and Oklahoma State is from what I understand. Really? Because really? um, they took a lot of, of the recruits that he was going after. Uh, but yeah, when when he actually resigned, he did a press conference where he actually resigned and he came off classy and then the next day he called a second press conference and basically whined and bitched and made a lot of excuses Uh, and okay i get it you know people who you know the the way shit is set up it really does favor people who don't follow the rules Mm -hmm. but that doesn't explain why you lost to fort hayes state shithead (laughs) (laughs) fuck you (laughs) you're a loser you cocksucker I am so glad he's gone. <laughs> well, congratulations, Jeremy. Take your squeaky fucking voice somewhere else. Yeah, feels... Wichita State, maybe. No, please don't. I know we're going to be needing a coach here before too long, but don't I'm, do that. I'm glad you get to finally experience how it feels to get rid of Bruce Weber. <laughs> um, did you see some of the rumored replacements that could that, that I could haven't, be on? I haven't. Uh, Chris, uh, what is it? Nance? Chris Jans? Oh shit! Jans yeah. is, pa- is they brought his name up. Yeah, uh, fucking Brad Underwood, the Illini coach. Okay, but he's got about an eight million dollar buyout. I don't think he's going to want to go and rebuild again. Probably not. Uh, and then uh, another one that I read that was a dark possibility: uh, Greg Marshall. Yeah, I don't think so. 
I think he's kind of blackballed. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't think so. Was Steve Henson's name in there? Uh, tune into that. I'm actually wearing uh, our minor league Copa jerseys. Uh, my backward or my upside down cow hat. That's what I'm wearing right now. They can see it. Yep. No, you can't. It's backwards. They really should have put <clears> it off a couple of days. Yeah. Opening day is a Monday. It's supposed to be. Yeah, not here. It's on a Friday. But at least it's at home in Wichita this year and not like it was last sure. year. So kind of cool with that. And we get fireworks that night. So that's cool, too. Mm. Um, but, uh, but yeah, they, they... Be sure and video those. Sure. So I can watch <laughs> Absolutely. them. Absolutely. Everybody make sure you videotape. Always uh-huh. videotape fireworks. Right. It's way better to watch them through your camera anyway. Yeah, that's the best way to see them. Uh, but, yeah, they released the name for Copa. In minor league baseball, minor league teams have, like, alternate identities and stuff like that. And I was really pumped for this one. because I dated I, a chick that had that. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, I'm just still married to one. Um, Ooh, I'm But telling. that's okay. She knows. Um, but they have different identities and different promos that they do throughout the year to where they change their name on games. And uh, I've actually known about this one for over a year. So I've been really excited for them to finally release it. And they finally did. And it's for Spanish heritage, uh, like celebration. And so there's three games that we change our name to, um, the Tumba Vacas, which, uh, translated means the cow tippers. So that's, uh, I actually think that's means cool. the cow tumors. I think it's yeah. like the tombs, like yeah, cow tombs. Cow tumors. So yeah. yeah. Well, well, the cow tomb raiders it's oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> laura croft is actually going to show up <laughs> there you go that heifer going and going through mm-hmm. all those mazes um so i'm pumped for that uh but while we've been watching Did, am i the only one who got sexually turned on by her yep yep laura croft with those short shorts i mean at the video game yeah, yeah definitely but uh, angelina jolie no yeah really I, you don't I, find her hot I do not find Angelina Jolie. Really? No, no, no. I'm talking. I'm. I'm talking like. Yeah, Angelina Jolie is hot. No. But the video game character, no. That's. Too oh, pic- I jerk off to that video. Too, game. Yeah, yeah, no, it's too pixelated for me. You know. Yeah, so, it was PS One. Yeah, exactly. So she, that wasn't the best image. Maybe that's why she looks so hot. See, right. Video game. It's like having the, your beer goggles on. Yeah. I take the video game character over Angelina Jolie. Wow. Huh. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. I do not. I never found her attractive. Oh, nice. Which, ironically, she probably never found me attractive either. So we're a perfect match. Yep. Well, her sure. dad's hot. <laughs> <laughs> John Voigt. Right. Uh, but during the minor league season, there's uh, something that's new that's coming out, but I wanted to get your guys' opinion on this. Uh, they are trying out something new to combat stealing signs. Um, I think they're even calling it the Astros tool. Not really. Uh, it's called Pitchcom. It's um, in major leagues. I know, major league, and, and they've been trying it out over spring uh, okay. training. What is what I'm saying? Okay. So they've been trying it through spring training, and it looks actually pretty fucking cool. The The catcher has a... A like, mitt and a chest protector <laughs> and a mask no. and shoes. Oh, he's going mask this time. Yeah, yeah he's going mask. mask. Full right. mask. Yeah. And a cup. Yeah. He's going to have a cup. Some guys don't. Cleats. Going to have some Oh, cleats. is he? Yep. What about pants? Yep. He, okay. No and jo- a shirt. No jock strap, though. I already said cup. No, but those are slider shorts with cup inserts. Yeah, he's just got to put it loose in there. Yeah. <laughs> Hope it holds in place. <laughs> jock strap takes up too much real estate. It's just, he's just going to have a jock strap on. That's <laughs> is that it. what it is? Yes. Nice. nice. Yeah, that way have. he doesn't have to stop to shit. <laughs> yeah. He just... <laughs> Right there behind the play. That's what I think <laughs> your fucking calls were. Who oh. the hell thought to make those ass? I don't know. They're like chaps. They're like the second assless week chaps. in a row that we've had this conversation. <laughs> oh, no. or two out of three weeks? Yeah, something like that. Um, but no, they, they're going to have an armband. The armband is almost kind of looks like a remote control, <clears throat> but it can actually, the, by the buttons that the catcher pushes, there is a small speaker that only the pitcher can really hear, but they've given it to like uh, four other players on the infield so they know what pitches are playing. I don't know if it's all infielders. Maybe I think it's two just outfield. five, four players total. Total, and, and it, yeah. it can be anybody. Five, yeah, I think it's, I thought I said, I thought I read five, but that might include the pitcher and the catcher. Okay. But I think that's what I read was five players could have it. I can see the middle making a difference, like the middle infielders, it, them hearing it, and then maybe the center fielder yeah. so he can direct traffic out in the yeah. outfield maybe. Um, but it's really cool. It just fits up in the hat. It doesn't bother anything, and, and it's just quiet enough, but just loud enough to where they can hear it, but the other opposing team can't. I really hope that they whatever voice comes through has to be the voice of the catcher. Of the catcher, just for Sal Perez. Yeah. Okay, guy, we're going to do a <laughs> What? <laughs> so it's even more conf- confusing than Could the be. fucking hand singer. <clears throat> Could Watch be. It be like Siri. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Curveball, down, in, shake off, playing, shake it off by Taylor Swift. No, no Taylor Swift. Swift was a fox from David the Gnome. <laughs> Uh, Deshaun Watson is now facing a 24th lawsuit. The plaintiff says the quarterback, and I quote, finished on her chest and face. Good for him. 
Way to wow. go, buddy. Well, playing for Houston, he generally finished on his own chest and face. <laughs> getting fucking drilled in the backfield. Is At least he t- didn't get hit by a truck. Yeah, uh, but, <laughs> yeah right. Um, okay, I would have left when he started, <laughs> I guess. I wouldn't have waited around for him to finish no if kidding. I really didn't want this to happen. Exactly. You can leave. Was he not willing to pay the extra 50 bucks for her to take it on her <laughs> face and chest? <laughs> right. How was she in a position as a masseuse? That's what I was wondering. To <laughs> get that. He must have a hell of a shot. <laughs> right. I wonder if they had that, like, the hole for your face and then, like, a milking table. Maybe he was getting <laughs> massaged on a milking table. Steph Curry's got a jump shot that's got nothing on this. <laughs> Uh, but no, I guess uh, Deshaun Watson's uh, attorney says a happy ending isn't necessarily illegal. Uh, well, I mean, it, it's paying for If you for pay sex, for it, yeah. <laughs> it kind of is. But if you really want to dive deep down into it, I mean, all men really do is pay for sex. We all <laughs> sure. do. That's true. You know, you we pay take a them hooker out to, to din- go away. Yeah. We take them out to dinner. Yeah, exactly. Uh, pay a hooker to go away. We take them out to, we'll take you out to dinner, take mm-hmm. you on trips, take you on vacation. But the yeah. whole goal. And the end is the fucking bang. Yeah, that's yeah. the that's the ultimate goal. I heard I heard something that also is true. It was from uh, Akash. He's a stand-up comedian. Um, Who uh, his his first name is Akash. I can't remember his last name, but he's on a uh, YouTube channel called uh, Flagrant. <clears throat> but he said something that rings extremely true. That uh, he was talking about his wife, and he said, "Gifts are just renting silence." I'd say that's pretty accurate. What do you think? Do you think that's true? Uh, in some cases, yeah, absolutely. Sometimes, if you're uh, in a decent relationship, a gift is just a gift. Um, <laughs> Apparently, he never gave his wife an exercise yeah. bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because like that does not rent silence <laughs> or a vacuum. Yeah, because uh, between her and the fucking vacuum, there's a lot of noise getting made. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> She's bitching about the wind. Yeah, being created <laughs> by that fucking vacuum. It's. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Bad advice with Jeremy. Uh, guys, if you guys have anything you want to ask advice about, uh, you can send those uh, those detailed descriptions of your situation into our uh, Instagram, which is at laughing on the sidelines. And uh, yeah, we will put it uh, put it on the show if we like it or if Jeremy likes it anyways. Uh, this week's uh, is coming from, I think it's McIntyrean75. Macken, Ma- yeah, McIntyrean, McIntyrean. I don't. Know. Who yeah. gives a fuck? It doesn't matter. Carl, uh, call him. <laughs> yeah, Carl <laughs> seventy five. Yeah, Scotty, yeah. I don't know where are you get McIntyrean. Yeah, McIntyrean seventy five. K A R L. Yeah, right. Carl, three Ks. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, but anyways, uh, they write, Dear Jeremy, yeah. I'm an aspiring musician yeah. from Virginia. Slowly, my dreams are starting to fade as I'm having trouble finding other band members and getting gigs. Do you have any advice of where I should start or what I should do? Well, of course I do. Uh, first piece of advice, uh, quit. Uh <laughs> Chances are you're just not that good of a musician. I mean, 22 and you haven't made a fuck, dude. What's your problem? But if you do want to stick with this, as you know, I manage bands. And uh, (laughs) sometimes, in fact, every time, those bands tend to break up. And I still manage those individuals who uh, leave the band and go out on their own. And so I've got plenty of musicians that you could potentially sign on with and really make some nice music. First off, we got the uh, we got the banjo player from the Doll Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I can get you the crash cymbal player from the Keystone Mops. <laughs> <laughs> I got the uh, the guy who plays the Mountain Dulcimer and the Bug Nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> or you could get the Hammer Dulcimer player from Guantanamo Water Park. <laughs> The electric trombonist from the uh, Possum Jockeys. <laughs> the harmonica player from Jews Traveler. <laughs> I can get you the washboard player from the Muff Links. Uh, I can get you the triangle player from the uh, Fifth Trimester. Uh, the slide whistle player from the from uh, Chomo Candy. Uh, the cowbell player from the Vaginal Tsunami. 
uh, the Congo and Bongo, and I want to be clear about this, not bongos, just one bongo, uh, player from the Biscuit Dicks, uh, the finger symbol player from the Slutty Professors, uh, the oboe player from Twat Lava, and of course the fiddle player from that hot white acting uh, African American band, the Cracker Blacks. So... If you want any of those guys to play with you, feel free to hit me up at any time, which is going to be kind of difficult because in no way, shape, or form are you allowed to contact me. So uh, take it from there, man. That's my advice. My face hurts. I haven't fucking had that hard. It's a long time. I'm fucking crying over here. Oh. <sighs> I manage a lot of bands, guys. I've been very successful. Oh, that's amazing. Oh. Sure it is. Oh, good God. Anyways, now moving on to... Over- Saving the world one question at a time, right here. Uh, yep. Moving on to overrated or underrated uh, again. If you do have any suggestions for these uh, these next two segments or the last one, you can uh, message us at uh, Laughing on the Sidelines anywhere. Oh, and uh, Twitter. Uh, we're on Twitter, which is at Sideliners Pod. Just uh, fired that bad boy up. You know, traction's not very good, but it's Twitter. But anyways, uh, first one. Uh, this is from a listener. Uh, it's a new listener, he says. Uh, this is at T Adams 095. He wants to know overrated or underrated power washing. I think it's maybe it's to dams. <laughs> to dams? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I like that better. Yeah. If it's not, that's what you should tell people it is. It, now. Yeah, it, it is to dams. You're yeah. right. To dams. Yep, you're right. Yeah. I like it. What do you think? Power washing. Uh well, I think washing in general is overrated. Really? <laughs> uh, absolutely. Unbelievable. It's just gonna get dirty again. Yeah. So I'm going to say overrated, especially whenever you're power washing, like, concrete. Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> Guess what? People fucking drive and walk <laughs> on it and leak oil all over it and animals shit and piss on it <laughs> and homeless people sleep on it. Yeah. No. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. You paid good money to get your dirt cleaned. Okay. That sounds fucking stupid. All right. All right. All right. Got it off your chest? Yes. Okay, I'm going to say... And fuck Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I'm going to say this is underrated, and the only reason why I'm going to say that is maybe not me doing the power washing, but watching videos of people power washing shit so oddly satisfying. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See? I, I am... I have a, a pressure washer myself, and uh, I got to totally disagree with Derek here. It's, <laughs> it is so oddly cathartic. <laughs> totally. It, it's like those videos of people like smushing things or <laughs> what to to sit there especially concrete <laughs> yes to, you don't realize how dirty your concrete is until you run that and just to see the clean streaks god damn i mean it's almost hypnotic it's so fucking relaxing i don't i don't sit there going i need to fucking pressure wash this i just enjoy doing it <laughs> unless by the way uh you wear sandals and run it over your foot <laughs> oh, yeah. oh i put a big old slice across the top of my foot one time <laughs> yeah it'll because mine does like 3500 psi <laughs> and it was i had it down close and oh. oh yeah 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 that fucking sucked painful okay uh next one uh this is overrated or underrated having a fun time video uh with you and your spouse the hell is fun time? Are we going to like play mini golf? Uh, I used to call it a sex tape back in the day, but now there's it's no tape. There's, there's no, no tape. tape. So uh, what do you call it? A uh, uh, video? Video? Yeah. yeah. Sex video. Yeah. You know, you're making your fuck vids. Yeah. Uh, well, if it was me, it'd be more of a GIF. Yeah. A video. <laughs> in, out, in, out, done. And let's just play that on repeat. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go overrated. Okay. Just for A, that reason, and B, I don't want anything that involves me naked to have any chance of getting out anywhere online. A hundred percent. I fuck with jeans on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, pull it out through the fly. You're a never nude? Uh-huh. Oh, be damn. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is overrated. Uh, I once I'm, fucked in a three-piece suit. <laughs> <laughs> in court. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, this is over. Did you beat that rape charge? Nope. They <laughs> caught me in the act. Okay. I couldn't believe my own attorney. <laughs> Who's, who are you fucking representing here? <laughs> I'm the victim. Uh, this is overrated. I'm with Derek. I, I know that my wife's in it, and that's good looking, but I don't want to see me, and I don't want anybody else to yeah. see me either. So, no. Overrated. Jeremy? Yeah, overrated. <laughs> Way overrated. Yeah. Well, plus it's not very entertaining if we're in jeans. I, I think you'd be surprised, Scotty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially if I wear my boots and spurs. Yeah, oh yeah. Cowboy hat. They jingle, jangle, jingle, you know. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, next one. Uh, this is overrated or underrated. Wearing underwear inside out to avoid doing laundry. I'm going to go uh, overrated. Okay. My wife does the laundry. <laughs> yeah. By God, if my underwear aren't clean, we're going to have fucking words. <laughs> And I'm going to end up on the news again. <laughs> yeah. Not happening. No. <laughs> my underwear is clean. Uh, and my wife doesn't have to put extra layers of makeup around her eyes. Yeah. Uh, I. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like Ranger Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Britney Spears. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I. I I don't know. I've never had to do this either. I'm going to go with overrated, but uh, I guess I guess I've never had to. I if I couldn't wash my own underwear, I'd go to Walmart and buy another fucking set. So, I'm going to say it's overrated. Okay. I would go commando before <laughs> I did this. <laughs> Serious. I mean, yes, my wife does do the laundry. She's Asian, but <laughs> at the same time, it's like I can if I have to, like if, if she's dead or something, yeah. then I can I can wash my own underpants. And uh, I'm not a fucking lazy asshole. I mean, I am, but not not to this extent. Right. Okay. Has it, have I it, wear, I sometimes go without underwear because it makes fucking easier. Right. Get it out through my jeans. That way. I don't have to go through the fly yeah. in the in the underpants, too. Right. But seriously, uh how have any of any of you guys ever done this before ever like I, no I'm a, I'm assuming, no i'm assuming this, this is isn't a thing for like a college kid that doesn't have a laundry I, uh, like dry, washer and dryer or some shit no i've never done this before get one <laughs> yeah get a washer <laughs> you, and dryer you can fucking pick up a set for 40 bucks on <laughs> craigslist yeah that's right you may have to deal with some bullshit but you can get it <laughs> facebook marketplace yes baby. if it doesn't work just kind of rattle it around and go try it now yeah <laughs> fucking wash them in the sink for god's sake people beat clothes on rocks for <laughs> years years thousands of years come on uh, now scotty not uh, thousands okay fine all right, uh, next one, overrated or underrated, videos of fan meltdowns after a tough loss. Underrated. I'm actually going to watch weeks and weeks of these. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't beat that. That is the best because usually those fans are fucking assholes. <laughs> those fan bases are. Mine included, I've got some assholes in mine, and I just love seeing it. I, I do too. This is so underrated. And you're right. You can watch weeks of it. Mm-hmm. You, they never run out of videos. No. Because it's there's that some it's, it's like that one kid where they they know their parents are lifetime fans of this team that's in the playoffs and this kid doesn't give a fuck. And he knows it's going to get views and likes on TikTok, so he's going to video every single second of that reaction of that dad throwing the fucking remote control through the TV. And it makes all of us laugh. This is underrated. It's almost always a real fat guy, too. Yeah, yeah. Almost always. And Mm -hmm. the way he, like, stomps his feet and throws a fit and you just see everything jiggle. Yeah. And it's it's usually Cowboys fans. Uh, Maybe that's just who I watch the most. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is that up until, I'm going to say, four or five years ago, that was me. That's how I react. I actually legitimately, like for my blood pressure's sake, I had to kind of stick, take a step back from sports mm. and not get so emotionally invested. K State was the fucking worst mm-hmm. about it. Um, that is they, me. They broke my fucking heart so many goddamn times. But you know, I don't, I don't get that way anymore. And so now I look at it and I'm like, God, what fucking losers! But at the at the same time, it's like 
that I, I used to be that guy. <laughs> I am that guy. <laughs> I've seen Derek's teams lose in front of him. It's mm-hmm. not pretty. Oh, the fucking time we were at Biggins and the double doink. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, fuck. That was awful. You should have seen whenever I was at Wrigley and they hit the game-tying home run the fucking, yeah. uh, when Rajay Davis hit it. Oh. Yeah, but I think there's a level now that I, I don't think I, any of us would throw a, a remote control through a TV. Or no, no, I know because I, I know what the fucker costs. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> that's my point. I would throw it through somebody else's TV for sure. Oh, for sure. Um, I did like the one. I forget. Was it Dallas? I can't remember who it was. But the probably. guy fucking threw his TV down and then shot it. <laughs> <laughs> Which and see that was stage. fucking great. It was still funny. I don't yeah, care. It's still great. Did he shoot it because Dallas was on <laughs> <laughs> the TV show? <laughs> that seems like the a, TV show. Sure. He hated Patrick Duffy. Absolutely, he could not stand him. In, in all seriousness, they're, they're all Dallas. Fuck you, Jr. <laughs> Who shot the Jr. Ewings? I oh. shot Jr. Yeah. <laughs> In all seriousness, the Dallas Cowboys have the most uh, fans. They have the largest fan base. But on top of that, they... They're also the most hated team. They're also the most hated team. But at the same time, they also lose more playoff games than majority of other teams. Eh, they just won a year. Uh, they, in, the last, <laughs> in the last 25 years, they are number five on the, uh, like the number of wins, the least amount of wins. They're number playoff five. Playoff wins, you mean? Playoff wins, yes. Okay. Uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars have more than they do. Jaguar. Yeah, Jaguars. Eat that, Dallas Cowboy fans. Yeah. And this is the last overrated, underrated. Uh, Let's see. Overrated or underrated? Clone your willy kits. Like make a rubber wiener (laughs) out of your wiener? (laughs) Yep. No. No? No. Nobody'd (laughs) want that. It'd be like those little thumb puppets you put on when you were a kid. You know what I'm talking about? Where there's like a little goblin. (laughs) <laughs> no no yeah i'm not doing that <laughs> yeah if i'm gonna put something in my ass i want it bigger than that <laughs> yeah yeah and the last thing that i really want is to get because there's only one angle sort of that you can really see yourself on on a regular basis uh-huh unless you're really looking at some cool angles and mirrors <laughs> but if you make like a 3d model of it and then compare it to other dildos, boy, what a fucking <laughs> shot to your ego that's going to be. Oh, yeah. Jeremy, that's not the reason for it. Mine's more like a starter butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> like you're maybe interested in the idea of it. Yeah. <laughs> so you start out with that one, and then if you can handle that, maybe we go to a finger. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's, hey, that's, it's like a clone of clit. <laughs> <laughs> That's, they, they have those too, probably. But no, the whole point. Of course, point, they do. Yeah, <laughs> the whole point of this is so that your 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 spouse is not cheating on you. If you know she's the size uh, of my dick is why my spouse is cheating on me. <laughs> it's so she's yeah, using your you dick. You should have seen her in this fucking cowboys meme. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, this is overrated as hell. Because yeah, this is so fucking overrated. I don't want my wife to have to endure that um, when I'm not there. So if she's no. turning me down, but fucking herself <laughs> with a clone of my dick, <laughs> do you know how pissed off that would make me? Honestly, exactly. Because I'm there all the fucking time. <laughs> That's right. It's not like it's not like she can have me when I'm not around. She could have me whenever. I'll take off work. Exactly. It's not like we're gonna say no. Yeah. Jesus. We might. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we I, might I'd actually. We might be watching football or doing something. You know, woodworking. Yeah, with Jeremy. So, anyways, uh, that is overrated or underrated for this week. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. This is Jeremy's favorite segment. Uh, we're gonna go to first question. Do do do. Where is it at? There it is. It's on uh, paper, Scotty. Shut up! I'm looking Good for it. Lord. All right. First question. What would the worst thing about you for your dating app bio be? Can only fuck laying down. Nice. <laughs> or behind. Or wearing a wind wingsuit? <laughs> wingsuit? No. No. Okay. No. Um let's see. Mine, uh, this is dumb, but I got I got children locked up in my basement, so they have to be included in our relationship. <clears throat> That's fucking weird, Scotty. I know, right? Sure is. How about you, Jeremy? You make a great junior high coach. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. How about you? Uh, I have very, very clearly defined stretch marks on my thighs. 
Oh, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Those are probably really fun. And that would be my profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I have very well shaven balls, but like very hairy inner thighs. <laughs> <laughs> and I would just go that. I wouldn't get the dick in there, just the thighs and crotch area. <laughs> okay. There you go. There you go. All right. Next question. Kirby just swallowed you. What ability did he get? Type 2 diabetes. Nice. Hell fucking yeah. Uh, I can no longer have sugar. No. Uh, I put, uh, you got the ability to annoy everyone. Hmm, that's a good one. Yep, that's it. Jeremy? The ability to fuck with three quarters of an erection. <laughs> <laughs> Go into detail about this, Jeremy. I thought I did pretty well there. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. You did. You did great. Like, yes, have, I did. Do you, do you have change for a full erection? <laughs> oh, I got three quarters. <laughs> That's 75 cents of an erection. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you take a quarter of that, you put it in your shopping cart at Aldi's. <laughs> you get stuck. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Next question. This, this is a fan's question. This is from Gage Mason. He wants to know rejected names for a baby pacifier. Rubber Dicky. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just put a baby silencer is all I put. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, Blowjob trainer. <laughs> oh, really? Start them young. Yeah. Absolutely. They got different shapes now for that thing? They're pretty pretty phallic shaped as it is. <laughs> Are they? Phallic enough. I mean, it's a baby. Come on, Scotty. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but one day they're going to need cigarette money. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Next one. This is from another fan. This is uh, overall cap. He wants to know disturbing things you would find in Mary Poppins' bag. A giant plastic container and a shitload of lye. Oh yeah, somebody's dying. That uh, was the point there, Scotty. Yeah. Yes, yes. That uh, yeah. I, some people don't know what lie is. No, Scotty. they're somebody's dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not somebody's dying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, right. lie is something that you put on a dead body before you bury it to uh, speed up the uh, decaying process without uh, making it stink. There you go. Uh, I saw I, it on a movie once. Yeah. Uh, I went with a samurai sword. I think uh, I think that's pretty dangerous, mm -hmm. especially for Mary Poppins. I hear she's kind of old now. Jeremy? Uh, a half-empty Tommy gun. <laughs> 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 and maybe like one of those bank bags full of money. Yeah. Fuck, like yeah. You think she knocks over banks on her weekends? You bet. All right. Last question. This is another fan question. This is from oh, No. Jesus. Yeah. I didn't no. even come up with one for this. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, last question is from Noah Olson. Uh, he wants to know, blank, be a man. I've got mine. Go. Uh, tell your wife to calm down. Be a man. S fucking scratch your nuts and sniff your fingers. Be a man. I got a whole bunch of these. Derek, uh, jerk off and go get your palm red. <laughs> be a man. <laughs> okay. I'd be very disappointed if they don't see kids in my future. Yeah, right. Oh, God. Uh, are, are you still thinking or you got one? Uh, I'm still okay. still mostly thinking. I got a, I got um, a quick story. to have Go, you, go ahead. I like stories. Okay, I'm yeah. not going to listen to a word of it, but I, go ahead. Okay, no problem. I found a, I got a video that I saw today. When you said read palm reading, mm -hmm. all right, I, I saw like the crystal ball people, one of those uh, like tarot reading or, yeah. or whatever. So one person went out and actually bought a crystal ball, and they tell you whenever you get a crystal ball, make sure it's always covered. And the gal that bought it is like, oh, yeah, for like, like, like spirits, keep bad spirits away. And what she ended up doing was she left it outside on her table. And that crystal ball magnified the sun and burnt the shit out of her fucking table. I don't doubt that. It caught it the fuck on fire. Yeah. <laughs> like, I never even thought of that shit. You know, they're uh, full yeah. of shit, by the way. That ball ain't crystal. That's I just know. glass. It's just glass. It's uh, named crystal. Yeah. It's, sure it is. Yeah. It's, it's been road hard and put away wet. <laughs> it sure has. Right. That's her ball. <laughs> That's her Benoit ball. Mm -hmm. Right. She's got a big giner. Yep. All right, Jeremy. Blank. Be a man. Light the bottle rocket in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> that Hell bottle part is just a fucking suggestion. That's somebody else's <laughs> opinion. Light that fucker in your hand. 
That's, I like Play that Russian one. roulette with a Roman candle. <laughs> yes. Fourth of July, just around mm-hmm. the corner. That's right. All right, guys. Well, now we get to move on. What the fucking what? month are you living in? It's I, I, May. I know, but then June and then July. Yeah, I get how calendars work. Right. We're a ways from it. Absolutely. We're still in springtime, Dick. No, oh, fuck. It's, it's hotter than shit outside. It I, sure is. God. After being cold as fuck all last week and raining like a motherfucker, basement stayed dry, by the way. Congratulations. By that, I'm talking about my crotch. Okay. Where is the worst place to have intercourse? Who wants this low-hanging fruit? You or me, Derek? I'll take it. All right. In an open wound. <laughs> oh, God. That would be the worst place. <laughs> oh. Is that what you were thinking? I was thinking the nose. <laughs> <laughs> I said in a porta potty. That's where my what my answer is. I That's don't know where wanna, you were conceived, I'm Scotty. I'm sure it fucking was. I don't know why was. you'd be so anti porta potty. Uh, you were conceived in an open wound yeah. in a porta potty. <laughs> really? I'm yeah, gonna go you, with a, you were a side pocket. You didn't know that? No, I didn't. I was uh, I was gonna go with a uh, a twat lava concert. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. It sounds pretty dangerous. It sure does. <laughs> okay. It's hot. <laughs> Real hot. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next question. Hmm. Terrible names for a birth control medication. Pragmatic. <laughs> yeah? Mm. I got one. Okay. Cisgender, sorry. <clears throat> cis, blah, blah, cisgender baby blocker is what I put. Okay. Uh, I got uh, plan A. Yeah. Because uh, plan B is go as the stairs and plan C is the clinic. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, I always thought plan A was butt sex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then... uh the fetal flush. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. That's that's good. Legal abortion was the other one I had. Mm-hmm. Um, next question. Things not to say to a pregnant woman. Eating for twins? Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I, got, I would either say, uh, are you going to keep it? <laughs> oh, or or uh, mind if I shake that baby's hand real quick? <laughs> <laughs> hey, kid, pull my finger. <laughs> yeah. Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 100%. <clears throat> Love it. Uh, next question. Something not to say at the end of a diversity training deal. Uh, like a diversity training class? Yeah, yeah, diversity training class. That's what I meant. Okay. Uh, so now that this class is all done, does this mean I can say the N-word in front of my black friends now? <laughs> Damn it. I, I kind of had something similar. I think you should go, definitely go up to the black guy at the end of the meeting and call him Darius. And his name's Jeff. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's what you should do. Make him feel I want to be mad at that, but I can't. <laughs> yep. I, I was actually spacing out because I just expected nothing to come <laughs> out. And, and that actually wasn't bad, Scotty. Thanks, thanks buddy. That's your one for today. I, I still it. would like you to sit on the floor. Okay. But uh, is it my turn? Yeah, yeah, it's your turn. I think that guy giving the seminar was kind of a fag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I actually had one of those classes not long ago, and they had a... Uh, at one point, they had a slide, and mm-hmm. it was ta- It wasn't like a racial slide, like wee, but it was. Uh, <laughs> Shit. It was like uh, it was two pictures side by side. It was showing the difference between equality and like equity or something like that. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And one of them was like they're watching they're watching a soccer game on this field, and there's three. Uh, Three boxes that they're all standing on, all the same size box. You don't mean vaginas, dude. No, okay. no, not puss. Okay. Uh, one short one that can't see over the wall, one tall one that can see just fine, and then one on a wheelchair that can't see over the wall. Okay. And they said, that's equity. This is equality. And it would be like the short one had a really tall box, the tall one had a really short box, and the guy in the wheelchair had a ramp. And so they could all see the field. Mm-hmm. And I said, those poor people have to watch soccer. <laughs> <laughs> like it. Those are the people that we should shun. <clears throat> yeah. Soccer fans. Right. All right. Uh, last one. Is it? Yep. This is the last one. All right. World, or I'm sorry, the world's worst board game. I got mine. Go. Jenga. 9-11 edition. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. 
Uh, I got landscaping, the game. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, no, you've got army worms. Back two spaces. Fuck. You guys remember the game Operation? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. This would be sex change operation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dig it. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm serious about this. <laughs> okay. First question. What kills about 450 people in the U.S. every year? Premature cremation. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Like, you think he's dead, but he's not. Oh. And you go ahead and you start to cremate him anyway, but then by the time you hear him scream, it's too late. That's oh. just really what a house fire is. It's about four. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you're at the crematorium. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. it's it kills about 450 people a year. Jesus. Premature cremation. Wow. Like, I just was taking a nap. What yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden. <laughs> fuck. That's bad. Um, I went with the toaster. Yeah, toaster is responsible for about 450 deaths every single year. In what way? It's not the person's fault. It's the toaster's fault. It's the bathtub's fault. And the bathtub. It's the bathtub, the water, and the toaster's fault, not the person. Don't blame electricity here. Okay, I'm gonna. The toaster, it's its fault. Ben Franklin would roll over in his fucking I think we need to ban toasters, fuckers. What do you got against toast? I'm just saying. What about toaster ovens? I don't know. Would they do that? Would they? Toasters won't do it either. <laughs> not, not, not in this day and age. Not anymore. It, it'll flip the breaker and damn. Yeah. The, uh, okay. Bathrooms are on ground fault indicators. And okay. anyways, <laughs> Jesus fucking, <Christ>. <laughs> <laughs> fucking MythBusters over here. <laughs> no shit, right? Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Bonsai tree trimming. <laughs> Ow! You tell me, Scotty. <laughs> we got you a gift though. <laughs> Awesome. A little tiny tree. <laughs> I like to think that people are trimming and they really get in depth and they hit their wrist. Oh, yeah? And just bleed out. They stank ass trees. Trees love it. Yeah. All right. Well, well, that's just you, Scotty. Okay. Uh, next question. For some side money, I started renting out my blank. Lawnmower 4.0. <laughs> yeah, that's very, very good product. Yeah, it's a fantastic product. You can get top dollar for that. Yeah. I can't get shit for my 3.0 anymore. No. My 4.0, I'm getting about $18 a trim. Jeez, mm-hmm. that's impressive. Yep, I've been renting it out for about six months now. I think you should start trying to get the 3.0 to like uh, like stage lighting. They may want to borrow it. No, you need a 4.0 for that. It's adjustable. Yeah. I would say throw it in the bathtub, but that won't do any good. <laughs> Waterproof. <laughs> It'll shave the water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That hairy water, you know, that's a problem. Fucking hairy water is the worst. <laughs> God. <laughs> it is the worst. This he's, is not a joke. He's, he's the missing member of uh, One Direction, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hairy water? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> so I, I started renting out my sister. Dude, that's, that's for yeah. free. That's no. a free service, everybody. No. no, and we're now charging for it. Using my connections to get her out there. You're a pimp. Yeah. You've become a pimp. For my sister. You don't dress as one, though. No. You wear that fucking <laughs> idiot <laughs> I'm getting jersey. pretty close. Is I'm that getting... what you bought that with, your sister money? <laughs> yeah. It's side money, man. Got to use it. Sure. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, jockstrap space. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of extra room in there. Not many people are wanting to buy a jock strap, so we just kind of fit two in there. <laughs> Siamese jock strap. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, you, you take one side, I'll take the other. Yeah. You can actually only use that in three legged races. <laughs> That's the only way. <laughs> I uh I have so often I can't tell you how often I've laid awake at night just contemplating the design. Of that. So you secure my balls in place, <laughs> but you leave my asshole completely exposed. <laughs> JP designed it. <laughs> he's, he's the inventor. Yeah. Uh, is that so you can take a shit without? <laughs> maybe. I don't know. But then again, all poops are peas. <laughs> 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 It's it's so in Scotty's driving. <laughs> yeah, exactly. he, can, he doesn't have time to take down pants and underwear. <laughs> so you can still still towel snap in the locker room. I yeah. guess. Uh, I always wore mine with sliding shorts. Like I had sliding shorts for a couple. Which so. which will do the job of a jock strap. Correct. <clears throat> yeah, uh, they're they're outdated, man. 
Okay. Not in my house. Right. That's that's all we wear. Jeremy's oh. wearing one right now. <laughs> right. My yeah. wife fills mine out way better than I do. <laughs> all right. Next question. Name a dating site for amputees. Well, it's really thick amputees, but it's called stumptrucks.com. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. I, I actually had a couple. Okay. Uh, well, I was thinking, you know, StubHub, but uh, that's already taken, so I put Stub Club. Okay. I'll go with that one. I, I went with uh, StumpyLove.com <laughs> or SmellMyElbow.com. <laughs> oh, shit. I like it. All right. Uh, next one. What's something women think they are great at, but in reality, they aren't? Being funny. That's true. Uh-huh. Like, that's not even a joke. Nope. <laughs> that one that's uh dead on true that is dead on balls accurate. i know like three funny women and uh one of them's a comic out of here yeah yeah megan megan's funny but uh, i don't know very many other funny ones i'm with you a hundred percent on that uh i did uh there actually are women that think that they are good drivers mm-hmm. um that is false uh, as much as you think that you have not gotten into any car accident in the last 10 years, you have caused multiple. What about that Danica Patrick? Yeah. Yeah. Bad Look driver. at all them races she won. I don't think she oh, really won. fuck. Yeah. It's really um, finished. Um, yep. The other one I had was hand jobs. You're not very good at it. So. Well, you like them from dudes or? No. <laughs> I'm, He's a professional dude. He's got a I'm fucking only hand. I, that's right. <laughs> I'm, he I'm is allowed dude. to critique that. That is correct. That's that's like a fucking Olympic ice skater. You go out trying to fucking impress him <laughs> with your ice skating skills with your stupid hockey yeah. jersey. Right. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? I was going to say hand jobs. But, uh, <laughs> Beat you uh, to it. TikToks. Ooh. Uh, mm. Or selfies. Taking selfies. That's they good. all seem to think that they're great at that. Yeah. Yeah. And they all look the same. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's true. I stumbled on, uh, over the the hot chicks talk, whatever the fuck that is. But they're like my only age. Fans? No, <laughs> only no. hands. Yeah, only hands. No, only fans. No. He's got only hands. I stumbled like like there was a whole bunch of them that were all like 30, 30 years old, right around there. And I'm like, what is this? This is bad. I need to reset my settings. Can't do that. So anyway, so we'll stop liking Dude, those that's videos. A, that's <laughs> a good didn't. story. I didn't. I'm married. All right. Uh, last stop question. Stop liking those videos. <laughs> <laughs> like, Let, I don't watch porno. I'm married. Yeah. Let me fun. Last I don't into me. the bedroom with the toy. <laughs> right. Uh, last question. What's, uh, hold on a second. Uh, oh, yeah. What's an awkward thing to shout while jumping on a trampoline with your friend? Somebody else go. Oh, I got, I got one. The yeah, South yeah. will rise again. <laughs> I just, oh, okay. Or don't tread on me. Yeah, you should. Uh, you should go get your mom. See if she wants to come jump on the trampoline. Yeah, you. I, my mom doesn't trampoline. But <laughs> why not? Are you saying that's what you would yell? Because you didn't yell it. Y- yeah, yeah. You, you, you should go yell. get your mom. There you go. There you go. Yeah. You've ruined this. Jeremy's mom. Come on, man. come jump with us. Come on, man. Well, that's okay. Now you're being inappropriate. I know. How about you, Derek? You talk about fucking her, but not on the Wee! My dad's dead! (laughs) (laughs) Always a good one. It's true. I've never seen anybody cry on a trampoline. (laughs) I've seen Uh, them cry after falling off of a trampoline, but I've never seen anybody cry while jumping on a trampoline. Uh, But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, folks. Uh, Derek Alders, let me ask you a question. I know you're from Illinois, close to Chicago. Come rush hour, what's traffic like? Uh, not Chicago? very much in a rush, Jeremy. No? No. Pretty pretty gridlocked? Pretty well so, yes. Okay, there's a lot of towns that are known for that. Apparently Chicago, New York is well known for it. Uh, Los Angeles, certainly well known for it. And of course, as we all know, 
Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. Fuck yes. And on December 15th, 1967, traffic in this 32nd largest town in West Virginia, with a population of almost 4,300 people, was so gridlocked that the Silver Bridge collapsed under the weight of of all of the cars a lot of Um, fat people there it's got to be right (laughs) now um the failure was attributed to a small defect in an i-bar in a suspension chain the defect was found to be less than one tenth of one inch deep but however even though that defect was small the death toll was pretty fucking large 46 people died in this bridge collapse well 44 technically two were never found i like to think they're out there somewhere (laughs) um some of the uh local people believe that this uh disaster was actually predicted to certain residents of the town by a mythological cryptid known as the mothman uh prompting uh anyone who knows about this to utter the phrase fucking west virginians <laughs> but now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and legos legos almost heaven <laughs> oh god <laughs> fuck i'm just glad that less than an inch can punish now yeah. fuck yeah i can <laughs> All right, uh, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is Would You Rather Show Up to a Diversity Training cl- Course in Blackface or buy four boxes of Plan B and a 30-pack of beer and ask the cashier if she thinks it'll do the job? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'll, I'll go first. I don't have to do that in Blackface, do I? <laughs> no. no, just Jeremy Face. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. All okay. right. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm buying the four box of Plan B and a 30-pack of beer, for sure. The, the reaction is what I would want to get. Oh, uh, you'll get reaction in oh, either yeah. one of these. I'm sure, but the other one might get you killed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the other one would be a good laugh. So I'm taking the, the four boxes of Plan B and a case of beer. You get beer out of it. I actually asked my boss if I could do that at diversity training when I found out I had to go. Yeah. Just as a joke. Sure. And uh, he said no. But <laughs> damn it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the plan B2 because uh, not to be confused with vitamin B12, but plan B2 uh, is what I'm going to go with because I don't want to end up on the internet forever. Yeah. And if I'm in, if I'm on the internet for that, people are at least going to laugh at the plan B thing. <laughs> they might yeah. laugh at the situation of the other one, but I'm that <laughs> asshole in blackface and I'll never work in this town again. Yep, for sure. Jeremy? These both sound pretty good. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you on that. Uh, you don't get many opportunities to dress in blackface. And uh, going to diversity training, you haven't been told yet that that's not good. <laughs> so <laughs> you, you can always claim ignorance, and there's a chance you might get discovered and maybe get signed on with the Cracker Blacks. <laughs> <laughs> However, I'm still I'm going to go with the plan B as well because uh, at least people think I got laid. Right. <laughs> so sex is fun. <laughs> yeah, plus it sounds like you had uh, sex with four people mm-hmm. at it's, the same time. Sure. It's like you're going undercover in fucking <laughs> diversity training. <laughs> I want to see it from their perspective. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's fucking terrible. Let me just Juana man this shit and <laughs> see what the what it's really like. Oh God, just and and do every awful stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out a twenty with a bunch of ones inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. All right, guys. Well, that is all we have for this week's uh, <clears throat> ribs. Yeah, I love ribs. No oh, shit, fuck, ribs I, are awesome. I get so tired of this stereotype that barbecue and fried chicken is for black people. That's for everybody. Yes, <laughs> fuck you if you say I can't have that because of my skin color. Yeah, and the red Kool Aid one too. Fuck yeah, Kool Aid Kool Aid's awesome. You guys can't just have that. No, you can't. God. Now, they do make it a little different than most people. It's cloudy. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> they put way more than a cup of sugar in it. Uh-huh. And that's, and that's okay. fine. That's yes, okay. Yes. That's totally 100% uh-huh. acceptable. By, you know, they, I mean those people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> My best friends. Why do I have to go there? I don't know. Uh, but anyways, guys, that is all we have this week for our episode. Um, keep doing what you're doing. 
Thank you guys so very much for sharing our TikToks and commenting. That's uh, that's helping quite a lot. We really do appreciate it. We are keep on growing, so thank you guys so very much. Um, you guys have any shows, Derek, coming up? Nope. Nope. Just I got baseball. baseball season. Yep. So uh, you will not be here next week, correct? Uh, no, I should be here next week. Oh, you, should, you will be here next yeah. week? Okay. Well, cool. Then Great. We'll have another one with, uh, with Derek on. Uh, but do expect we're going to probably have quite a few guests, some reoccurring guests, which is going to be kind of nice. I'm um, hoping that I uh, can sign on this Mac and Tyranny or whatever and yeah. uh, get him on with the super group that we're going to put together and hopefully play the opening of the new Ross Dress for Less. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, but as always, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope you're eating out a pregnant woman and the baby teabags your tongue. Oh, God. Uh, wow. If you don't like us... Uh, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... Taste the taste of wetness. Oh, Take the nest tea plunge. <laughs> oh, shit. Until next time... Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs> <laughs>